Hey everyone, this is Sharia and I wanted to do a quick little video to show you how you can get your image inside the scroll work uh, file that was shared yesterday for just a few minutes of your time and a simple app. I'm going to be using this app that's on the screen here. This app is called Pixart and I believe it is available both in the iPhone Apple Store or App Store as well as in the Android Play Store. Now, one quick word, the image file that was shared yesterday was an SVG file and because I'm just using my phone for this, I did go online and use an online converter website called cloudconvert.com and I used that site to convert my image file to my scroll image file from an SVG to a PNG and as you can see it allowed me to save that to my Google Drive which I love. Saving things to your Google Drive is a very good way to save space on your phone. If you haven't started using your Google Drive yet I urge you to do so. Anyway let's go. We're going to open the app we are going to use the default settings. Oh, this was already open. I'm sorry. Let me back out so you can see what you would select if it were not open. Okay, this is what it looks like when you first open it. So we're going to click the plus sign in the pink circle. We're going to click the draw icon. It's teal and white. We're going to create a new document. We're going to go ahead and use the defaulted selections, which are 1024 by 1024 square with the white background. Click the pink circle arrow icon. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to run through pretty quickly these menu options that are on the screen. So let's go. At the top left, you have the back out of the app icon, of course followed by undo, redo, screen size, the options to import or excuse me, export videos and GIFs. This three dot menu and the circle arrow menu are save and share options. At the bottom of the screen, you have your color selector. You've got your brush selector. You've got your eraser selector. This move icon allows you to move the entire palette, or excuse me, canvas. A pretty cool text option. <clears throat> excuse me. Your shapes icon, or shape selector. The ability to import an image onto the current layer and resize it. And then, of course, your layers palette. We are going to be working with the layers, the eraser, and the paintbrush. The first thing I'm going to do is import, well, I'm going to make sure that I've got two transparent layers or two, well, yes, this layer that I'm working on and I'm going to import an image into this active transparent layer. The image I'm going to transport in is the PNG scroll. So I clicked on the image icon and I'm clicking on photo. I'm going to navigate to where I know my PNG images. And as I mentioned earlier, I already know that I've saved it on my on my um, G drive. All right, <laughs> that's a work term that I saved it on my in my Google Drive. I'm going to leave it at the size that it is and click the arrow and I'm going to resize this just a bit. Okie dokie. I'm going to just click anywhere outside that and as you can see by checking the layers palette it's on its own layer above the um, background layer. The next thing I'm going to do is add another trans or a photo layer by clicking the black and white new layer icon and I'm going to select photo layer 
I'm going to choose this picture of succulents because I love succulents and when you use the new layer option in order to import an image you can only import the image in the size in the shape of the current layer I'm going to select the oh uh, check mark for okay and I am going to long press on the succulent layer and pull it down beneath the uh, scroll work layer it's grayed so I know that's the active layer and I'm going to close my layers palette it's a pretty dark image but we're going to do our best so the first thing we're going to do is open our eraser options and resize to the largest size set that and begin just widely erasing the succulent background get as close as you can to your oops let me tell you about that in a minute get as close as you can to your scroll outline without doing what I just did and going inside the outline the best tip I can give you guys is to lift your erasing um, pen often the reason you want to do that is because if you have to undo and you don't have a lot of erasure you won't have to re-erase a huge section so that's pretty close for me I'm going to resize my eraser to something fairly small and go in and get a lot closer I'm going to use the pinch pull method to resize my image double check that my succulent layer is still active and begin erasing you can see how large that is now or how small and I'm just going to begin erasing all the background and I'm going to go right up to the edge of actually I'm going right up beneath the edge you can see that I'm going beneath the edge <clears throat> because oh excuse me you can see that I'm going beneath the edge because the round part of this little eraser is not showing the reason I'm going just underneath the edge is so that I know I have a very clean straight edge to my scroll work I'm going to resize my eraser down just a little more increase the size of the image a little more and really get up close really get up close into this corner and I'm probably gonna leave my eraser at that size for the entire time that way I don't have to go back in and resize the eraser I can just resize the image to do what I need to do and I'm gonna just be silent now and erase this and I'll probably put this on a time-lapse when it's ready for uploading so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me erase because who wants to do that okay I'm back and you can see that I've done all the erasing around the outside and there's no more image of the succulent on the outside of the scroll work lines if you open your layers palette you can see that the scroll outline is on its own layer and that the succulent image is on its own layer if you close the visibility eye on the background layer close your layers palette you can see that you now have a, your scroll work with image on a transparent background and you can save this <clears throat> excuse me as a PNG or a JPEG and erase the background in any of your favorite background erasure programs I like things to look as they would in reality and if this were a real scroll you wouldn't have the same image on the front and back unless of course there was some super special printing but I like the back of this scroll to be black and so I'm going to open my layers palette create a new empty layer it's above the scroll work but I'm going to long press and move it be above 
the second layer but below the scroll work it's the active layer you can tell because it's selected in gray and what I'm going to do now is increase the size and those areas that would naturally be the back of the scroll I'm going to color those areas with my paint selection I'm going to use a color that's in the succulent image by using the eyedrop tool and moving it around I like pink so I'm gonna go with this bright pink right there <clears throat> I'm also going to make sure this color is in my favorites oh look it already is surprise surprise but I'm gonna put it that one down here just because it's a slightly different shade and if I get closed out or something I want to be able to come right back to it making sure that my empty layer is selected I'm going to color those areas excuse me while I set a little bit smaller my brush I'm going to color those areas that would be the back of the scroll with this pink color that would be this area here I'm going to color all the areas that would be the back and then I'll turn the video back on okay I'm back and you can see on the screen in front of you that the succulent image is inside the scroll work and the background the back of the scroll is colored in pink excuse me if you wanted to test that which sides would be the back and the front just get a sheet of paper and roll it with the same folds that you see on the scroll pretty easy showing showing you the layers palette you see the background is turned off the succulent layer is on the bottom the background colors are on in the middle layer and the outline is the top layer what you would do now is go to your three dot menu click save image and it saved your no I don't like that one if you do that it'll save your image as a flat JPEG with the white background but you don't want that you want it to save with the transparent background so you're going to click the white circle arrow icon then you're going to click save and share save and save picture on your device it's that save to the gallery you saw at the very top and I'll show you two things really quickly click done <clears throat> oh goodness all those ads I'm gonna go to my gallery <coughs> and show you where it is obviously I'm in the right folder it's in the PixArt folder and this is it I'll show you the details and it's a PNG image you can use this now to import into design space and put your text wherever you want to save it as a print then cut file I suggest saving it as a print then cut file and printing it to a PDF that way you can order prints from Walmart or your other whatever favorite print store you have and you will get your image with the print then cut boundary box and you can then just load all those images one by one I guess in your cutting machine and have it cut your image from the heavy paper that you have it printed on that's it